This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1714. Affairs and the Other Woman, Lies Other Women Tell Themselves, by Lisa Merlot Booth of lisamerlobooth.com. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to ORD on this fine Monday. I'm your host, Greg Audino, and today we are going to be looking at a post from a regular contributor, Lisa Merlot Booth, but about a unique topic, affairs. Affairs are not something covered on the show too frequently, as they do feel taboo for many of us to talk about. But affairs, or at least temptations geared towards them, are important, and thus we are here to address them. Let's hear what Lisa has to say as we optimize your life. Affairs and the Other Woman Lies Other Women Tell Themselves by Lisa Merlot Booth of lisamerlobooth.com. With all the hype about Tiger Woods and the alleged other women, I thought I'd address affairs from a different angle. Following are myths that many of the other women in the world believe. While I understand how and why they believe these stories, let me be clear that they are all myths. Number one, I'm his true love. You may feel like his true love. However, chances are his wife was also his true love at first. Most relationships are intimate and great in the beginning. Your affair is no different. Affairs are easy to be intimate in. You don't have the demands of kids, jobs, finances, keeping things interesting after being together for 10 years, etc. Number two, his wife is cold and doesn't know how to keep him happy. His wife is not the cold, frigid witch that you may think she is or that he may paint her to be. I know many married couples who were still intimate throughout the man's affair and reported being happy with one another. Not everything the man tells you is true. More often than not, he's lying to you the same way he's lying to his wife. You're no different. I can't tell you how many other women were hurt to find out that their lover and his wife were still intimate. The other women were shocked to find out that the men were lying to them too. Don't think you're above his lies. You're not. Be careful about thinking his wife is a cold witch, because someday, he's likely to say the same about you. Number three, I don't care if he's married, I don't care about his wife. That's her problem. The notion that you're sleeping with another woman's husband is her problem, is a lie you're telling yourself. It's your problem too. If you were healthy, you would never be hooking up with someone who's married, because you would know that he was not healthy. Be attracted to him, yes. Sleep with him? No. When you sleep with a married man, you tell yourself that you're not good enough to be someone's number one. In addition, when you stop caring about the impact you have on other people in the world, you become the cold, uncaring witch you thought his wife was. Being hurtful to others has a way of coming back to haunt us. The more integrity you have in this lifetime, the better you and those around you will feel. Start caring about who you impact, because ultimately, That will impact you. Number four, he's going to leave his family for me. I can count on one hand the number of men who have left their families for an affair partner. More times than not, they beg their wives not to leave them once the wives find out. For those men who are conflicted, they still struggle with leaving their children even if they don't care about their wives. It is a long, painful process for everyone involved. If the man you're with doesn't care about either his wife or his children, Why do you want him? Number five, once he leaves his wife, I will have his full attention and it will be just us. Once he leaves his wife, he will be guilt-ridden about losing his family and not seeing his children as much as he used to. You will never have him all to yourself. That is not how life works. If he has children, you will always be sharing him with them. His children, if he is at all a good father, will always be a priority in his life. Affairs are damaging to everyone involved, including the other women. You sell yourself short when you decide to be with someone who is already committed to someone else. The likelihood of him cheating on you and lying to you, just as he does to his wife, is high. Your thinking poorly of his wife because of the stories he tells you is naive. Do yourself and every other woman in the world a favor and stay away from married men. Seldom are the relationships what they seem your relationship with him, or his relationship with his wife. Stop hurting families and pretending it's not your fault. Stop selling yourself short and find someone you can truly be intimate with. If this man was meant to be that person, he wouldn't be balancing his time between two 
or more women. Get smart, get an integrity, and get out. Challenge. Stop telling yourself that you're different or that he loves you and begin to look at the picture in front of you. What damage are you and he causing? Have you caught him in a lie? If not, how do you know? How does he talk about his wife? How do you feel knowing he's with her, too? If that doesn't bother you, where is it that you learn to settle for so little? You just listened to the post titled, Affairs and the Other Woman, Lies Other Women Tell Themselves, by Lisa Merlot Booth of lisamerlotbooth.com. So, you open Google Chrome on your phone, you're hunting for a super rare first edition vinyl of a band you're obsessed with, when you're supposed to be working... But this site you tapped on seems pretty shady. And Daryl from IT just jumped up from his desk. Oh no, he's coming your way. It's a good thing built-in malware protection keeps you safe and sound. Not from Daryl, though. Sorry. There's no place like Chrome. Download Google Chrome on your phone. Priceline presents Go to Your Happy Price. What's up? It's Kaylee Cuoco. When it comes to travel, we all have a happy place. You can see yourself already there. It's beautiful. It might be sunny and sandy for some, neon and urban for others, deserts or rainforests or hiking trails. With Priceline, you can get to your happy place for a happy price with deals you really can't find anywhere else. Like up to 60% off select hotels to Costa Rica or five-star hotels for two-star prices in Cabo. Go to Priceline.com and travel to your happy place for a happy price. All right, see ya. I'm off to Miami. No, actually, wow, look at that. No, I- I'm going to Hawaii now. Ooh, Cancun looks nice. You know what? Belize looks pretty nice this time of year. Or, mmm, Palm Springs. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, Priceline. All right, and important material for Lisa to be covering today. Affairs are something that, if we're not involved with them, we tend to think are for other people, or at least try to stifle our temptations. And if we are involved with them, well, you know, then let the justifications begin. Oftentimes, people that are engaging in affairs are doing so to chase some type of freedom. Even if it's not malicious or bred of an unhappy marriage, the desire to do something for ourselves amidst a life of commitments to children and a significant other. That can be very powerful. And as Lisa points out, in this time, we tell ourselves lies or justify our behavior because we hate to think that the temporary feeling of freedom is flawed. But we can forget that life still has complications. Cheating with one person can still leave temptation to cheat with other partners. And the fairy tale feelings that we want to accompany such freedoms are really quite flawed, obviously. Lisa's post today is essential for anyone to read or listen to, I think, even if you're not or don't intend to be involved in an affair in any way. She mentioned that it's difficult to keep things fresh after a while. And because of this, it is risky to assume that we are impervious to at least tempting thoughts, even if they don't lead to action. Being reminded of the realities of these temptations and why acting on them is not as worth it as we might feel as though it is, is not a bad idea for anyone single or taken. And on that note, we are going to wrap this episode up. Thank you to Lisa for another great contribution, and thanks to all of you for being here to listen today. I'll be back with you tomorrow on the Tuesday show, and I hope to see you there, where your optimal life awaits.